Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 4. We just rescued Orion. Um, we're part way through Act 3 and uh, we haven't died yet. This is uh, this is all good. Let's slide down. Whee! And actually that showed me that there was a little bit of something up there. So we'll go take a look at it. Oh, interesting we're actually in in an area with Loreth where we could attack if we wanted. There we go, that's what I wanted to have a look at. Nothing really that special. Now, it's been a while since I played this character because uh, this, uh, this week has just been super, super busy. Uh, but we need to go have a chat with Orion, who is... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we just got out through the secret passage, didn't we? Through the secret passage. Which wasn't the secret passage I was expecting, if I'm if I'm honest. So, hi. We made it. I can't stop my hands from shaking. Give me a moment. Sure. Are you ready? Yes. Where is she? Upstairs? I just came came past her, I think. This way. We're not gonna use the artillery shot as beast quiet. As fun as it would be. It's safe now. Nothing will get you up here. She's really here. Yep, she is. I'm just going to loot the camp first before we talk to you, just in case this doesn't go according to plan. Thalaya! Oh, Yun! Oh, you've come back to me! You waited. Kept yourself in danger. Mm. Oh, you stubborn cow. Barely danger. Of course I waited. Where would I go without you to tell me? Anywhere away from here. Yes, well... Oh, Laura. Lucky fool, I'll give you that. Ah, Lorath here sent this one to find you. They need your help getting into the palace. There's an old escape tunnel. The entrance is in the caverns nearby. Behind an alcove marked with the overseer's cross. That might be the place I thought the tunnels were. Twin sabers joined at the hilt. Press the left pommel to open the way. Caverns. <laughs> Could be worse. Wanderer. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Hey, all I did was come in like a wrecking bear. That's a very cool uh, exit. I think that was the merchant's horse. Best not tell him. Okay, so... Loras. You know, when we first met, I assumed this connection you have with Lilith would lead you to darkness, as it has a life. But after the good you've done here, maybe I was wrong. We shall see. Indeed we shall. Indeed we shall. So, uh, yeah, that is the tunnel bit that I thought. Let's uh, go meet Loras at the entrance to the awful pit. Ugh. An artillery shrine without anything really to use it on. I suppose we could we could hurry down into the cellar, but it's not really going to give us much benefit by the time we uh, we reach things. I'm still going to clear the cellar out, of course, but. Uh... Hi. Oh, how I've missed this. I'm out of spirit. Storm back. Ooh. 
Hello, gloves. Right, we'll have a look and see what they are. So these gloves deal... Okay, they're the standing still, the inner calm ones. 8.5% is not bad. It's not amazing because we don't stay still much. So we'll probably just salvage that up as it is and, uh, and try and get some of the uh, crafting materials. Okay, let's uh, actually head down into the pits then. Lots of resources, lots of gold. Hey, Loras. In the city, I was thinking on Elias's plans. Which of the lesser evils he means to summon? What he did to Goran is a clue. Is it going to be Andariel? He's drowned it in blood. Mm. Meaning his goal is likely Duriel or Andariel. What's the difference? Duriel feeds off physical pain. Andariel revels in mental and emotional torment. Lovely! Whichever one it is, if Elias succeeds, many more cities will share Goran's face. Not if I can stop it. Her only hope is he hasn't completed the summoning yet. That is quite the hope. Let's go into the pits. Oyun said the tunnel is in a hidden alcove. Yep, something about uh, pommels joined together, push the left one. So we want to keep our eyes peeled for those. We also want to get ready for an overpower. Charge him back into a wall. Oh, we took a little bit of damage there. That's going to be from standing in all the poison, of course. Actually, at level 45, we can probably upgrade our... Oh, no, we have just upgraded our potion. Yeah, we're almost level 46 now. <laughs> I love it so much. Storm Bear is so much fun. Alright, level 46. We'll put our point in. Just as soon as it's safe. Okay. What do we want to lean towards now we could start putting points into trample were we still putting points in poison creeper yes we've still got two more points we can put in poison creeper and we could put more points into cyclone armor which will improve our damage reduction that's probably smart if we're going to be going up against a boss Yeah, pulverize is maxed out. That's the most important thing. Oh no, we'll we'll keep putting into maul. Until maul is done. That can go, 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 that can go. Hell this can go as well. It does look like Loras helped me a little. Uh, let's go left rather than right. He's still fighting. Oh, he killed it. Well done, Loras. I am surprised and impressed. Probably shouldn't be impressed by it, but a little bit. Let's 
get them all hit with a poison creeper. Oh, big, big wallop. And another one there. Okay, looks like this is where the entrance is. Yep. Could that be it? Uh, no, it's going to be another one. There's still more to explore in the tunnels, so we'll run around very quickly before talking to him. Oh my god, the hurricane is overpowering. That is amazing. If hurricanes can overpower, can you like keep keep their duration going? Can you just like keep them up? Okay, and this just joins up with where we were before. Sabers, just as Oyun described. So we push the left one. All this to get into the palace. Nothing to loot over here. Keep up, Loras. Wait. Do you hear that? Voices. Let's listen. Why do we stay here? Need more prey, more meat. And you will have it once Elias has finished his grand work. What work? You will see soon, bro. The seeds we have sown will bear fruit. Good one will be reborn, and so will. <laughs> but work. Elias, he is poised to summon no, no. to the world. Her her power will lift us to new heights. And of course, this is bad. You will have more meat. More meat? I want to watch. Kinky. Certainly, Great Brawl. You will be the guest of honor. I think we need to kill this Brawl guy. Evil ruins to summon. Heavens help us. Okay, anything else for us to grab over here? It doesn't look like it, so let's push up logically exploring as we go. I do love their spell effects, it's very cool. I wonder if the like the skills and stuff that they're using are unique to them and and in such uh you know non-usable by players, or if they're just adaptations of player skills. The tyrant's court. So we're doing a left wall hug at the moment, which might end up leading us in the right direction. Does seem to be a lot of stairs leading up. Destroy all the old vases. Stacks for pulverize. Nothing in that corner. Lots of bazap. The fun that you can have with overpower with a druid is unmatchable. 
like actually the the amount of uh, of stuff that we've got with um like this at 26 your next skill will overpower building that up for hurricane or something else giant is is a crazy good idea it just so happens that we're able to really work it into our bear stuff Stunned. I do not have enough spirit. I'm not ready yet. Our health is keeping up nicely. Almost got him. Mother's judgment dies in a hail of lightning. And bear swipes. A gruesome collection of partially eaten corpses. Scraps of fine clothing suggest these may be the remains of the royal family. Yeah. That was just the mother's judgment. Ward of Sealing. And apparently we can remove it. Look at all this. An archive of the Forbidden. Handpicked by Elias himself. He must be planning to summon Andariel somewhere else. But he did his research here. Look around. There might be some clues that can tell us where the ritual will take place. I'm sure there'll be something to see. Ooh, a two-handed mace. We will have a look at that. What's that? Damaging a poisoned enemy with a werebear skill will instantly deal... Woohoo! I quite like this. I quite like this. We might extract it. Um, Because this works really well with Poison Creeper. Or anything that applies poison in general. Okay, let's have a read of his journal. The prophecy is unfolding before my eyes. I was right to act on it. When the prime evils come, they will find no easy prey. We will be ready. What Our is Elias doing? Begins here with Andariel chained to the heart of Gulran. She will feed on the suffering in this city of anguish. And we, in turn, will feed on her. Andariel's power will be ours to wield against the other Lords of Hell. 
If more must die to see it come to pass, so be it. I will not fail you, mother. This is starting to hark a little bit similar to a, a game called Hunter, a role-playing game set in the, uh, the worlds of darkness. Hunters taking monster parts to augment themselves in order to be better hunters and like at some point you have to like say how much is your humanity worth? If they're planning on stealing from Andariel in order to fight the other Lords of Hell, that's really interesting. Sketches of three shrines, each depicting one of the primevals, Diablo, Baal and Mephisto. Only the blessed can open the way. Do we have anything else in this section that we can find. It's probably going to be over by Lorath, isn't it? What have you found? I recognize many of these books. They must have stolen them from their Roderick vault. So you've not specifically found anything. An old map. At the center of this map is the Temple of the Primes, an ancient complex buried beneath Mount Sibo. Notes are scrawled across the paper. They appear to be calculations for how much of Goran's populace would be needed to excavate the temple. And Ariel, chains of the heart of Goran. Her evil will not stay contained here. It will drown the land in suffering. This is beyond madness. Quite the opposite. Elias' mind is clear for once. When I knew him, he was searching for purpose. I couldn't give him one. And so he found it in Lilith. I didn't stop him. I let him become this. For once I'm gonna say this isn't no, your fault, Laura. To make it right. Before things get even worse. Yes. We have what we need. The summoning will take place at the Temple of the Primes in Mount Sivo. Now to find a way out. Knowing Elias, he would have had an escape route in case things didn't go his way. Behind the bookcase. I guess that's the one thing he learned from me. Always behind the bookcase. Are you going to, like, pull the lamp or something? Close enough. Let's head out to the hidden overlook. So this has actually put us down in the city, I assume. How are we doing for this place? Yeah, so another 300 Renown will get us another skill point. Uh, what now? Should have killed him when I had the chance. Yeah, maybe. We must hurry. Okay, I can hurry. Can also loot the room, you know. So we've got to find a way to the Temple of the Primes. That is our next objective. While we're here, we may as well explore Path of the Stray Souls. Hey, there's a waypoint just up there. All right, let's head north and grab it. Looks like Lara's already headed on. So we don't need to worry about him keeping pace with us. This place does not look good, not gonna lie. Town. Okay, so this town area, Fates Retreat, has nothing here. Yeah, that, that whole city bit is inaccessible. Mount Sivo is just a bit further up though, so we'll keep pushing towards it. I assume this was once a big bustling city and it is now very very bad the forsaken ascent okay
keeping my eyes peeled for anything we can use on the way. I think we're actually, we're close enough, full up of stuff. Let's head back to Kebardu just for a moment. Clear our inventory out. Okay, uh, so for salvaging, we head down here. Let's do the junk, because I'd already checked them. An extra rank of Lightning Storm and Pulverize. We lose the overpower damage, though, which is really important for us. So you're going to go, you're going to go, you're going to go. Yeah, that can go as well. I mean, weapons are probably going to go no matter what. And we're probably going to want to extract this when we can, but we can keep it in our inventory for the moment. How are we doing for aspects? Yeah, we've got space. We'll get it extracted now. And then drop off our gems and get back to Lorath. It's a shame because I, I really like this weapon. This weapon does feel like a great weapon. But the aspect and having it ready is going to be more important overall. Some of these aspects I could probably get rid of. Overcharged is actually really, really good if you're going down storm as well. Okay, let's uh, drop our stuff off rather than just staring at the options for hours because we could very easily spend a lot of time theory crafting. So, drop, drop, drop. Yeah, I should extract that at some point. Don't need to extract that. Can I actually put these across? Yes, I can. All right. Because we don't need to hold on to these right now. Let's head back. So, Loras, what's what's going on here? What's our next step? Somewhere in this paradise, the Triune has reclaimed its ancient temple. Trouble is, we can't simply walk in. Elias was researching something about shrines to Mephisto, Baal, and Diablo. Only the blessed can open the way. Hey, I'm blessed. Yes, but to be blessed by oh, the Oh, wait, what? Damn risky. If it is the key to getting inside the temple, Take the risk. This is not going the way I thought it would go. Bale Shrine is close. We'll start there. Sure. Let's go pray at Bale Shrine. Bits. Yeah, you better sit down. I need more 
spirits. We are really close. So they worship the lords of hell. Or at least they used to. If the Triune is working with Elias here, it must mean they pledged themselves to Lilith. Okay, let's uh use the altar of destruction. Lord of Destruction. His influence has launched every war in history. Never once has he tired of conflict. Speak his true name, Tor Belos. Tor Belos. Well, are you all right? That was fun. I'm, I'm fine. Two more shrines to go, Diablo and then Mephisto. Stay strong. So, what are these blessings going to do to us? Like, I am a bit worried. That this is going to irrecoverably change us. Okay, grab the random bits, make sure that all the disciples are gone. And then we'll hop across to the next shrine. Oi! Don't make me hurt you. I wonder how many shrines to Lilith there are hiding in this place. Ooh, we are getting lucky with our items, aren't we? What are these pants? When hit while not healthy, a magic bubble is some... Oh, okay, this is... This is like Vigo's amulet. It's only th for three seconds, so it's not as good as the amulet. But it's still another, another place we could have it, so... I'm, I'm glad it's an option. Ooh, he's ugly. Diablo, Lord of Terror. Every mortal fear, every nightmare, he is the root of it all. Always has been. Speak his true name. Al Diabolos. Al Diabolos. Again, not feeling particularly well. Well, on to Mephisto. Nothing like getting some lies in the mix. Good job, Lorath. need to keep it up a little bit longer. Right, you're dead. That means I can loot the room. Grab those iron chunks. The last shrine. Mephisto, Lord of Hatred, Father of Lilith. You need to be careful. Her blood is already a part of you. I can handle it. You see? The power here is already agitating you. 
I told you I can handle it. Tell me what to say and then go search for the temple. Well, we're getting antsy. So be it. When you're ready, speak the name Dull Mephistos. But watch yourself. What could possibly go wrong? Dull Mephistos. Ah. Uh... Hi! Oh, it's the wolf. Ah, we meet again. Mephisto. I know who you are now. Yes, but that doesn't mean we can't help each other. Interesting. That mortal Elias seeks to use the power of the Primes for his own ends. No one knows their place anymore, do they? No, they really don't. <laughs> His meddling has drawn echoes of the past to my refuge of hatred. But you and I can put things back in order. I'm listening. Once you've brought peace to this realm, I will be able to give you my blessing. So I've got to help the realm of hatred destroy the barbarian defenses and slay gorm okay i wonder how much of this is going to be real is this mount aria i'm not ready yet Bloody door, that is. Well, a fleshy door, I should say. Ulkathos, lend me your strength. I would love to just barrel him off the edge, but that's not going to work. this so we don't lose it or forget it I should say okay so well done you were born for this this actually looks a lot like the uh, throne of all Kathos a prime evil would need a mortal's help yes I've had some bad luck in recent years Trapped in those soul stone trinkets, cast back to hell. My essence is reforming, and so my power has limits. We all have our ups and downs, don't we? That's kind of cute in a way. You deserve far worse. All I have done is offer you help. And yet, you repay me with hatred. Why not focus that anger on Lilith for the time being? Take my blessing. Destroy her. Save your world. <clears throat> Mephisto is my favorite of the prime evils. Uh, yeah, who were those barbarians? The victims of my brother, Bale. He laid waste to the barbarian lands long before your time. I wish I could have seen it with my own eyes. I had no part in it, though. Elias has upset the balance at the Temple of the Primes. And those shades of the past belong in Bale's domain, not mine. But 
I do welcome their hatred. Hmm. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, let's uh, let's carry on through another fiery portal. Back to the shrine and back to the spine. So we need to carry on following it round and speak to Laura. There's a little side bit we could pop up and have a look at though. So we might do that. Kill of the Primes. I would not expect an area like this to just be. Another big obliteration. Let's uh, let's check to the north and see what's here. We might not be able to do anything here yet. That looks important. That looks very important. chunks on the way through. We'll have a little look to the north as well just in case there's anything to see. I love the lava flow. It's very cool. In all the jars. Charge through these guys. While we've got the hurricane, let's keep it moving. I was going to say, Lorith didn't pick an easy place to, to come and hang out. There's a lot of parkour. We were just down there. Are you going to tell me that we need to go back down? Well, let's uh, have a look at least. Mount Sivo. I received the final blessing. No, I had to. I had to go kill some stuff in a shade of hell. Mephisto hmm. has been known to take such a form. It's not the first time I've encountered him. What? When you kept this from me? Well, we didn't know it was Mephisto we at the time. All keep secrets, don't we, Horatrum? We don't have time for this now. Elias could be in the middle of his ritual already. Clear your head before we press on. Oh, I'm ready. The Temple of the Primes is just ahead. Let's head back down. And I think this is probably going to be a good point for us to finish off the episode. Uh, so we'll head back to town and we'll, uh, we'll just sort out our items before we go into the temple. We'll just uh, get ourselves over here. So we're ready to proceed. We've got plenty of money, so we'll just salvage the stuff up for materials. And we'll put the uh, protecting item away in our stash think let's do that first very cool drop them off drop them off and yeah the rest of this is all gonna all gonna get salvaged up how much does an extra tab cost oh it's not much
Not many Tau icons, though. That's a shame. I would have liked, uh, I would like more. Uh, can we have a generic aspect looking thing? That'll do. Because what I'd much rather have is the items here and then the aspects that we could use just to ready in another bit. There we go. That's far more efficient. Okay. I wonder if these could be used automatically at the uh, enchanter. I suspect probably not. Like it's not going to allow you to pull from your stash, is it? No, just from inventory, which is fine. That's not a not a problem. Okay, uh, salvaging, and then we will finish up. Uh, so, yeah, making a good solid push through Act Three. We've been blessed by the Prime Evils. Not sure if that was a smart plan or not. Um, but we're going to move on and see if we can stop Elias. So thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 4. See you soon.